Both Republicans and Democrats are eyeing Georgia as a key state to win in the November midterms. The Senate race is heating up between incumbent and Democrat Raphael Warnock facing off against Republican Herschel Walker, a political newcomer. I was in Atlanta recently and sat down with the former NFL star to uncover why he's getting into politics. God always asks you to do for others. And right now I see a problem and I know I can beat Senator Warnock. There's not a doubt in my mind. I know I can beat Senator Warnock. And I don't, I don't think he's a great senator. I honestly don't think he's a biblical preacher. And I want to remove him from that seat. Although he's not Catholic, Herschel Walker wears a St. Michael the Archangel medal around his neck, a gift from his wife. He tells me there's a battle between good and evil. When you have a strong faith, Satan's going to come for you. He don't need to go after someone he already has. And, you know, because I decided to run, I know he's going to come for me. And he's been coming, but I keep the arm of God on. Ever since Herschel Walker announced he's running for Senate, stories have surfaced of children he birthed out of wedlock, domestic abuse allegations, and he's out of touch with African-American voters. But he believes the Lord has called him to overcome past mistakes. Yeah, I'm a sinner. I've sinned before my holy father. But you know what? I've gotten up. I've gotten up and I've corrected that. And I'm going to keep going forward and do the best I can because that's what you do. You got to turn away from those those things you used to do that that that's, that you don't do. And I pray every day. I don't just pray for myself. I pray for the sinner and one not. And Herschel, one of the things that you are passionate about is the pro-life issue. I am. I'm pro-life, uh, and I don't make any excuses about it. I think a child is so precious, and you never know what that child will become. So I'm pro-life, and and I will always fight for the unborn. He wants a public debate with Senator Raphael Warnock, who is a pastor. And I asked this question, can you serve the Senate and serve God at the same time? Because that's a question he need to answer for himself because some of his policies that he's voting on, is, is that against some of his Christian beliefs or what he teaches in his church? Herschel, you're an incredible football player, but some would say, you know, an incredible football player, you ran successful businesses, but how, how does that make you a good lawmaker? I know how to bring people together, and which is what you need. In Washington right now, you better be able to get people to vote with you, and I know how to work with people. From crime to the fentanyl epidemic to the border crisis, Herschel Walker tells me there are many threats facing Americans. Within a short two years, you see what they've done to this country. It's, 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 it's ridiculous. A country that was so great as the United States of America, they've tried to remove your religion. They tried to remove all your belief that you ever had. Right now to talk about wokeness, wokeness, uh, how do you identify? You can be a woman today, a man tomorrow. Herschel Walker's campaign is about to get an infusion of cash, more than $37 million from the Senate Leadership Fund, a Republican political action committee. Political analysts say that this race is simply too close to call right now, and it is important to note, EWTN News Nightly reached out to Senator Raphael Warnock. We did not get a response to our emails.